That is right, guys. Today, I have two hours to go to the four ponds that Ethan, my brother, just gave me, and I have to catch a fish at every single pond within two hours. If I don't, I fail, and I owe him a lure. I don't want to owe him a lure because he gets to choose it, and he'll probably pick out the most expensive one. So I think I'm going to tie up a variety of baits because I'm fishing a variety of ponds where you know the first two have grass and the second two don't so I can fish like a crawl or something at the first one and jigs at the second one so it's a pretty decent variety but you know you have to deal with adversity so we're gonna tie up I'll tell you guys what I ended up tying up and then we are going to get out to the pond for our two hour challenge stay tuned well, uh I just realized that there's no audio on the clip of me on the FaceTime call with my brother. But what I tied on here was I have two baits. I have a white half ounce spinner bait, white and chartreuse, right there. I put a, uh, just a white swim bait on the back. So, you know, I can skim this thing over the top or I can let it sink a little bit. And it's a bait I've really found to work at one of the ponds I was assigned to by my brother and the other is probably one of the most versatile baits out there and it is I have just a Texas rig rage crawl I took PB and J because um it's one of my favorite colors of the rage crawl and I just have a black quarter ounce tungsten weight on that but I'm gonna get to the pond as soon as my line is wet I'm gonna start the timer you know and I have to think I have to plan this smart because I have to start where I know I can easily catch fish. And I also have like a 10 to 15 minute bike ride from the first two ponds to the second two. So, you know, it's gonna be, it'll be a challenge. And I'm pretty confident that I can get it done, but we're gonna see if I can. Change of plans, we're only doing three ponds instead uh, because the, first, the pond I was at first, they, they had a bunch of stuff up on the fountain and I think they're getting ready to turn them off for the year. So that means like loose wires and stuff and that's where the fish are when it's just cold out in 35 at night. So I was just not gonna fish there because I mean, I had to cast out to the fountain if I wanted to get bit and I'm trying not to get electrocuted or lose my lures. So we're just gonna do this pond instead. And then the other three. So I'm gonna start the timer. I'm gonna strap on the GoPro and get her rolling. And then we are going to try and catch some fish. Guys, I don't know if you can see in the water. I can't zoom in because I'm holding this fish in my other hand. There's four bass right there. Look at this fish. This is an absolute football. I'm going to get him back. I'm going to try and catch that other fish because this is insane before we head out to that other pond. This is awesome football. We'll get Stop him back. Him. Thank you very much. There he goes. All right, let's try and catch one of these other fish. Hey guys, just check the clock. We got hour 36 on it. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty positive about this. We got about a 10 minute bike ride. Thankfully, the wind is not in our face. We got a 10 minute bike ride to our next spot. And for our last spot, we're gonna need all the time we can get, I think, but stay tuned. Rain last night, so this sewer is gushing. But look at all the minnows. Just all in there, just chilling. I don't know if any will come out, but you know, we're here. It took me 10 minutes to get here. Starting off with the crawl, like I said, I think we're going to get something over there, but you know, if this pump, if this is pumping here, I know that it's pumping up there at the pond we have to go to after this. So I'm pretty optimistic about the pond up there if this is pumping. So stay tuned. It's also a move to this pond. So if I can get this pond off of this, then I, I'll just go back to that pond uh, with whatever time I have left. So I'm gonna start with the jig. If that doesn't work, we'll put on a, that was a I just spooked it like a total idiot. So we're gonna start with the jig, then put on the spinner bait, maybe use a crankbait, and I'll update you guys with the catch or when we go back to the other pond. Just like that. Two hours is over. Caught one fish in one of the ponds. Got 
I absolutely butt whooped at the others. I got blown up on by like a two and a half pounder over at that culvert over there though. Oh, well, that was pretty epic. I just wished he didn't miss it. I could not get this fish to bite over at the other pond, which kind of sucked for me. But now I have to go let Ethan choose a lure, which is going to suck because he'll probably find the most expensive thing I own and take that. But, uh, I mean, I guess we should cut to Ethan choosing a lure. Ethan only wants thirty dollars. I just Facetime him. He only wants thirty dollars, so he can get AirPods, which he's not getting. So I guess I didn't really lose after all. But if you enjoyed, leave a like. It makes myself feel better. It helps my self-esteem. If you want to see more challenges, or if you have any challenge ideas, go put them in the comments below. Make sure you leave a big subscribe. It is the giant red button down below. Just press it and hit the little bell next to it so you know when I upload. I'm your host, Owen. I will catch you guys on the next one. See ya.